Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Excuse me, I have a little ear itch. Um, thank you guys so much for stopping by and taking some time to watch this video. Today's video is going to be just, I'm going to go through my lip products, my lipsticks, my lip glosses, and things like that. Um, I don't know if this is going to turn into a declutter video, I'm just going to kind of show you guys my lip products, swatch some of them, and then go from there. So let's get started. Uh, these aren't like in any kind of order, it's literally my drawer, like, it's just my little drawer. I don't know if you guys can see that, like, let me switch it over. It's just this tiny little drawer, but it's, it's stuffed, so I can't necessarily push it back. And I'm sure that I'm missing some, so thought it would be a good idea to kind of show you guys what uh, I currently own that is open. I have a full drawer of lip products that I haven't opened yet. Similar to if you guys have seen my HD brand new makeup declutter, that's the storage where I keep also my lip products, but in a different storage container. Anyways, we're going to get started. This is from Hard Candy. And it is in the color Night Queen. And I was really excited about this lipstick. And it looks like this. But to be honest, I haven't used this product. So, like, except for once. And I saw myself maybe for cosplay. But um, PopCon isn't for like another year. So I don't think I will be using this anytime soon. So I'm going to give that. That's going to be decluttered. So this may turn into a declutter video. Second is from Bite Beauty. It is their high pigment pencil in Corvina. And this is what it looks like. Swatched. And this is what it looks like. So it's pretty. And I'm going to put that one to the side. And then the next one is from ColourPop. It's one of their lippy sticks. It's with the band. And I am pretty for sure that I ended up not liking this one. I could be wrong. You know what? We're just going to put it on. And see. Although it would have been smarter to grab my mirror, my small mirror right here. And test it out. Now that I say that and I put it on though. I kind of like it. Well, um, I'll keep this one for now. I'm gonna put my little mirror here. <gasps> Perfect, so I can do like my little stuff with my little mirror. And I know that this is probably not gonna be like the best solution, but I'm gonna wipe it off with my makeup wipe right here. And I know my lips are going to be so dry by the end of this. Oh well. Uh, since I have a couple more color pop ones, I'm just going to keep talking about those. This is the primer. I haven't used this yet, so technically, and it's already dirty. Technically, this one should not be in my drawer yet because while I've opened it, I haven't used it. So I'm going to put that aside. I'm hoping that by using that primer, my issue with the ColourPop Libby Sticks is that they tend to kind of, I guess the term is bleed a little bit from my lines and I don't like that and they kind of just tend to transfer a little bit. So I'm hoping that putting that primer kind of prevents that, prevents the bleeding and it just keeps everything in place. So that's why I purchased it. This next one is another ColourPop one. It's Mirror Mirror. Oh. Let me wipe those off because apparently those were already wiping off. I'm gonna get that in. And this is the color. It's a really pretty color. It's like a very, I don't know, I always say colors and then I get them wrong, but I just, I don't bother with colors. This one is from MAC. It is the Viva Glam Lip Glass from the Taraji, oh my goodness, Taraj, Taraji, I know I'm botching her name, B. Henson one, and it, what does this say? Oh, it just says her name on there, and this is what it looks like, and to be honest with you guys, I haven't used it 
in a long time. And now that I put the ColourPop lippy stick and this one on my hand, I feel like the ColourPop with the... No, 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 no. It's not with the band. Mirror Mirror one is going to look well um, underneath this one. I was about to say that I'm going to declutter this, but now that I see it mixed like next to each other, I think that's going to be a good combination. I need to keep that in my mind. Next is from Winky Lux. That is the Glazed Lip in Coffee Glaze. This is what it looks like. I like this one. It's, it just gives you a pretty sheen. It's nothing super major. I do like pairing it with my Essence. Wait, since it's right here, I'm going to pull it out. With my Essence Long Lasting Lip Liners and Lovely Frappuccino because they're both coffee related. Um, now that I realize that just now, um, but it goes well on top of this one. So another one I'm keeping. This one is from Ades Adesi. I don't know the name of this one, but oh, I didn't even to the liner. Hold, please. If you can see, that's the liner. And that's what that one looks like. And I like these. These were super inexpensive, which was nice. This one I go back and forth with. I don't have a 100% thought on this one yet. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. And so, but I'm going to keep that one for now. My favorite is the TARDIS birthday suit one. Um, it's wearing off. Like, you can't even see the birthday suit name on this, but I really love this one. I love having it on my lips. It just gives me some color without looking too out of place. It looks more natural than some of the other ones that I have tried. And that's what the birthday suit one looks like. And then another one is from Too Faced. It is their Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Long Wear Lipstick in the shade Sellout. This one's also pretty. And that's what that one looks like right there. Next is the Unraveled lipstick from ColourPop. It's one of their Luxe lipstick ones. And this color is so gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. This is what it looks like. And then swatch on the arm. That's what that one looks like. Really, really gorgeous. I wish I had some background music. This one's from Forever 21. Um, the whole, like, everything has worn off from it. You can't even see the name. You can't tell anything. But I know that this is from Forever 21. It comes with its own little pencil sharpener, which I think is kind of cool. And I like this one. I know a lot of people are very hesitant to buy like store makeup and what I mean by that is like makeup from like H&M or Forever 21 and things like that. I don't understand why because where is it? This one from Charlotte Rouge which I will show in a second. I like this one. I do enjoy this one and um, and I also have like a Charlotte Rouge one that's not lip product but it's their eye crayon stuff and it's just really nice. I don't understand why some people are really hesitant or don't like those. Um, to me they're they're good. This is what this one looks like. Right there. Kind of give you guys an up close. It's a nice red. It's not too red. It's not too orange. It's just a perfect balance and I like it. And then, then this one is from Charlotte by Charlotte Rouge. It's the Velvet Lip Dip Matte Liquid Lip. I purchased this when I saw their Beauty Bar sign and I just knew that I had to buy some products. Um, I will link that video in either the pop-up box or in the description down below. Oh, so pretty. Ooh, I bet this could also work as an eyeshadow. But this is what it looks like. It's just beautiful. What? I got to learn to. But it's just really, really pretty. I like it. 
This one's from Victoria's Secret, so another store one. It's their Velvet Matte Cream Lip Stain ones in the shade Obsessed. Mm -hmm. And um, my arms are a little hairy. They're not super duper hairy. They're a little hairy, so um, if you see like some something that looks like it's a bump and it's covering, that's just my hair. But this is what that one looks like. This is kind of long, so this is probably going to be a long video. Um, one is it not a long video with me. This one's another Bite Beauty one. It is the pomegranate one. Wait, does this one cap? No, I'm just, I'm just pulling at nothing. I'm about to break this. I have heard that some of the Bite Beauty ones had like a sharpener or it had like something at the bottom, but that's clearly not what it is. Oh, Brie, this one does not uncap because it's the, the plush thing. Okay, Brie, that was smart. You just messed with. Alright, but this is like another red one. I really need to use my lip products. I don't really use them often. But it's just got a nice red to it. Man, the lighting can't really show you it the way I want it to show you. So maybe back here. But that's what it looks like. Go ahead and do another red. This one's from MAC. It is their Ruby Woo. I read that this one pretty much goes with any skin tone. That it looks great on everyone, so I went out and bought it. But now that I now that I tried swatching, it was it wasn't really blending well. I don't know what that was about. But that's what that one looks like. It's a little big because I had a little trouble um, trying to blend it out and swatch it. This one is from Shalala 4G Lipstick by Apple Mexico. I purchased this one in Mexico, which is why it says by Apple Mexico. And this is legit my favorite purple lipstick. Oh, this is in the shade of Violeta. Duh, Violeta is purple. And it is my favorite purple lipstick. I don't know where to get it. I don't know if it's available online. Um, I say that because I purchased this one at a, just like a little, a little store, a little tiendita there in, junto a la plaza. Like, that's literally just um, a store that I like going to. I've loved going there since I was little. They always have quirky things. They always have quirky earrings. I'm trying to remember the name of it, but I can't. And it's not even like it's in one of the big cities. It's literally in a town that is close to my parents' hometown and we just go there and walk around and do all these sorts of things. And I just go to that little shop and I look for stuff. And when I got into makeup, I looked at some of the makeup that they had available. And I bought it and I fell in love ever since and this is what it looks like and I like it because you can apply a light layer and it, it has that light purple but you apply more of it and it goes into that deep purple and unfortunately I think that once I am out of this one it'll be gone forever like that's how much I have left um, and it'll be gone forever because I haven't seen it in any of the times I have gone back this is from Urban Decay. It is their 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in Ozone. And this is another one of those primer type of ones. I don't even think it's going to show. Yeah, it's not going to show just because it's like a clear primer. It's supposed to be below that lip primer, but it is not. Ooh, speaking of which, let me dig it out because... Did I put it in? No. Okay, so I bought this from Sephora. It's the Rouge Je Je Gel Lip Liner. And I had no idea that this was for your lips until I saw the little mouth thing on it. And I had used it for my eyes as eyeliner. It was it looks gorgeous by the way. So I keep it more as eyeliner than I do lip liner. But let me just show you the gorgeousness. It 
it's, you know, let me see if I can scoot it in for you. That's it. It is so, so gorgeous. I don't think I've seen a color for, for the lips like this one. Like, at all. I love that one. That one's, that one just fell. But like I said, I used it for the eyes and I don't, I don't know if I would be bold enough to use it for my lips. But yeah. Okay, this is the Black Heart Lip Liner. And to be honest, uh, this is what it swatches like. It's that one right there. And to be honest, I am probably going to get rid of this one for the simple fact that when I did try the Black Heart Matte Lip ones and I swatched, I didn't even try them on my lip, I swatched, I made the mistake of having my white Imagine Dragons shirt like right on my lap and you guys can see that whole, whole ordeal in that video um, I think that that one was just a purely Hot Topic purchase video so I will again like link it down in the description box where I will have the little note card notation that says hey watch this video um, but I'm not gonna hold on to this one because those two it was a matte one and it was like I don't remember I don't even think I have them here anymore and it was like the not matte one and they stained they stained my shirt I put it in the wash and it didn't take it off it did not take it off at all it they literally stained my shirt and it was brand new and I was so disappointed and my husband was amazing he went out to the store and bought me a new shirt because we were gonna go to the Imagine Dragons concert that night and I had bought it just to wear it for that night and obviously wear it throughout but like for that specific purpose so I'm not gonna hang on to anything black heart that is lip products or Layla'd. I still have two of the eyeshadows I love those so I um, will continue to use those but in terms of lip products black heart is a no for me and if I still have them I think I have them in like a little Sephora little bag that it's like my declutter stuff I will probably keep those just so that I could put them in a disappointing products video because uh, that really upset me anyways moving on uh, this is from ColourPop it is the Bad Habit uh, Ultra Matte L hold on Ultra Matte Lip something and the reason I'm struggling, it's not because I can't read, it's because it has faded, but if I put it at a certain angle with the light, oh, it literally just said ultra matte lip, okay. Um, you can faintly see where it used to say something. So my arm is a hot mess. Oh, that dried very, very quickly once I really put some pressure onto it. I realize that I have a lot of the same colors. Oh man, I didn't do it. Hold on. I don't like it when I like, I don't know how to properly swatch you guys. Like to be honest, I don't know how to properly swatch. But I'm noticing a trend with my lip products. That still didn't do it? My goodness. Why is my arm so weird? I feel like most people, they just do that and you can see and my arm is legit weird. I don't know, maybe that's just me, but that's, that's, that's the color. That's bad habit right there. I think I'm about to start doing it on my arm, other arm because, yeah. This one's from Ofra. This is her long lasting liquid lipstick in Verona. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do it on my other hand and without spinning. And these are probably going to not look as great because um, this is my non-dominant hand, so. This is what that one looks like. Um, it's a kind of more chocolatey one as compared to some of the other nude ones right here. So I still don't know how I feel about it. I have mixed feelings. I go back and forth with it whenever I like look at it and use it. Um, moving on, this one's from Benefit. It is the Double the Lip They're Real and Juicy Berry and Beyond Sexy Lipstick and Liner in One. Oh, that's the actual name of the thing. I thought this was really, really exciting at first, but once I used it, just... Okay, so the way this works is you see how it has this little, like, 
not oval, but like teardrop, that's the word, teardrop type of shape to it right here. So what happened is when I started to use it, if you guys can see, there's this little like curvature. I don't think that was supposed to happen. And so now whenever I apply it, I don't really get much of the juicy berry side, if that's the one that it's called. I get more of the bottom one. And I thought it was a cool idea because the theory was, you know, this part of your lip is going to have the, the tip part of this one. And then your the other half is going to have the bottom part of it. But it just didn't work. But oddly enough, it... It looks better, in my opinion, when it's like this than when it was in the original form. It's just so hard to get that effect going with it. So, um, it just, that's, that was my struggle with it. But, man, I've got a lot to go. I really have to use some of my lip stuff. Like, I really should be using this stuff because these things are expensive. Alright, this one's from Urban Decay. It's one of their Vice ones. It's Purgatory. It's the Vice Waterproof Long-Lasting Liquid Lipstick. I bought this because it was like a collection type of thing. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Did I already try? I am not liking the way that this is swatching. This is a swatch. And it's it it ended up doing like that. Like I tried to swipe and then re-swipe to get a good color. And it came like that. It messed it up. So this is no longer going to stay with me because I'm not I'm not gonna deal with that. This one is from Easme New York. It's the matte lipstick. And Cerulean. Um, this is another one that was from Mexico. My mom purchased it for me because I had told her to bring me back some of the weirdest makeup stuff she could find, like in terms of color or things like that. And I have to put this on a couple of times for you guys to actually see it. Um, this is what it looks like and this one is going to go into the declutter pile because I don't like that color. Um, now that I've used it, this one's from, ow, I bit myself. Smashbox, it is the Space Case Be Legendary Liquid Metal. This one's another one I have mixed feelings on because it, when it applies, it doesn't, and now I'm eating hair, my goodness. It just applies weird sometimes. Like, I feel like it's a little too translucent, but oddly enough, applying it on my hand, yeah, see, it gets translucent if I come back and forth, so maybe I shouldn't be doing that. But that's what it looks like. I love gray, I love silver, it's like my favorite color, so having this, to me, is amazing. Like, a lot of people would be like, why the heck, but I like it, so... This is another lip liner from Essence. It is their long-lasting lip liner in Girl Next Door. Uh, this one's the more darker one, in my opinion. Of course, it shows up light, but what I mean by m the darker one, I don't know. It just... it. To me, when I put it on, it looks more dark. But obviously, it's it's light. But I don't, I don't know. Alright, another one from Bite Beauty. Oh no, it's Lie. This is Full Moon Party from Something 22. I don't even know what the name of this one is. I think it's like the company name is like Shoshbon 22 or something like that. Uh, this is what it looks like. I know it's a little, it's a little messy. But let me swatch. Let me swatch like that's not close to my gray one. That's what it looks like. It's a pretty color. It's a little deeper, darker. I like it. This is from Seattle London. It is a glitter flip. And it is in the shade Infamous. 
and I've used this one like maybe twice so far, but this is one of my new ones, so I will definitely be holding on to it. It's so pretty, and it's one of those that's like when you press your lips, uh, it turns into that glittery one. But this is just a really, really pretty color. I like it. I'm glad I purchased it. Oh my goodness, I should have told you guys to pause this and get like something to drink or or something to eat because long videos. I, I apologize, guys. <laughs> when I have... Oh, I'm not supposed to apologize. Um, but when I hopefully have editing software, that should help with that. I know that sentence probably didn't make sense because you're like, hopefully, you know. But anyway, this is from Avon. I don't even know what, what it is, which one it is or the name of it, for that matter. This is really tiny print. Um, but it's like an orange one, a coral one, back when coral was all the rage. So I should probably, based on what I'm swatching, I should probably throw this one out. This one's old, because that's what it's looking like right now. Very transparent, very translucent. I don't know if that's um, how it's supposed to look. Doesn't smell bad to me, but this one's going to go. I've had that one for way too long, and I never really used it, so there's no point. This is another ColourPop one in Julep. This is a cream one. And that's like another orangey one. And that is what it... Oh, oh, oh. Why does it look pink in this? It's not pink. It's like um, an orange with hints of pink is what I would say. it Like neon orange. And for some reason, it's popping up as pink here um, on my screen. But it's not. It's more of a like a neon orange is how I would describe it. This one is from Sephora. It is a cre cream lip stain. And... Uh-oh. What's the name of this one? I should say I don't I don't have time to look it up on Sephora, but it's just a, a blue one and it's very blue. You will definitely get some looks, you will get some comments. Um and this color is not for everyone. This is probably the boldest color in terms of lip that I have. I know the Smashbox gray one is pretty bold, but I feel like this one is the boldest out of the two because it's a very bright blue. It's very noticeable. When it dries down, like you, you can already see kind of in here, it's not as bright as when it's fresh. My thing with this, it my only thing with this is it transfers everywhere. Like I already have it on my fingers. I have to be super careful whenever I wear this one because it will get on everything. This next one is from Bite Beauty. It's the pastel one. And I don't even remember how I got this one. I don't remember if this was like a gift, birthday gifts one, or if this was just one that I picked up, or this might have been a free one. But I, I don't, I don't know. You know what? Maybe next year, if I don't get rid of some of these, I'll do a project pan. Um, and I will just do that. But that's what that one looks like. Lighting isn't the best. Alright, this one is from NYC. I don't even know if this exists anymore. It is the City Proof Matte Long Listed Blur Lip Color. I have not... Okay, so this one's good. I have not seen this brand anywhere lately like did does it exist did it disappear i know that people had said that it wasn't gonna be in some stores anymore and um when i went to meyer but that was like a long time ago that was almost a year two years when i went and they still had the like new york city uh, setting powder stuff, which is actually what is helping hold up my camera, so I'm not going to take that out. But this is what this one looks like. Man, I really have a theme for the purpley, pinky ones. Oh, 
This was from KCO Colors. I don't even know if this brand exists anymore. This is in the color Rebound, so another orange one. And either this one's old too. Two. Wow, that was a really weird way to say two. Or nope, nope, it has a little bit more color than the Avon one. But that's what that one looks like. And this is also going away because I never use it. And it's just been saying that. Another one from Urban Decay, Double Cross. It is just as metalized lipstick, so. Yeah, oh, ooh. Why do I not wear this one more? Way, way better than the other one, than the Urban Decay Perversion one. If that, is that what, what, what it was called? Purgatory. Okay, that wasn't what it was called. But, uh, beautiful color. I need to wear this one. We're almost towards the end. One's a lip scrub, so I'm not going to put that in there. Um, but we're almost to the end. I promise. I know it's long. Thank you for sticking with me if you have reached this point of the video. I really do appreciate it. Um, thank you. Um, wow, I have a lot. I really need to use stuff up. Anyway. This one is another one from Bite. I didn't realize how many Bite ones I had. And it is Pink Pearl. And I'm running out. Okay, so this one you can't really see very well on my skin unless I keep going like back and forth. But it is really a gorgeous pink. Oh no! I dented it. Anyways. Um... Yeah, it's just a really nice, pinky, glittery color. It looks translucent and transparent on screen, but that is not the case. This is a retractable waterproof eye lip pencil from She Makeup. It doesn't even have, like, a color. Like, it doesn't say what color it is or anything. You know what? I'm just going to stick this one on my other hand because why not? And that's what that one looks like. It's a more chocolate colored one. Trying to get a going gold for you guys. And girls. And then this one, I don't know where it's what it's called because the sticker is blocking it. And if I remove the sticker, I'm pretty for sure. Oh no! I didn't. This one's from Miss Gorina Lipstick. And it doesn't say any, like, color or anything. This is what it looks like. This is another one that I purchased in Mexico. And this one's just a, a very pinky color. I am running out. I'm running out. I don't wear this one super duper often. But you, I'm hoping you guys will, will be able to see this. I'm going to, like, put it a little bit back here just in case. Ah! It wasn't enough. I don't, I don't know why my arms are weird. I love that I basically have to go around for you guys to even be able to see that. Like, I, either I'm not doing this correctly or my arms are just all weird. I don't know, guys. But that's what it looks like. Alright, and then two more products. This one is from e.l.f. and it's a lip balm tint. This is what it looks like. It doesn't even have a name. It's legit just lip balm tint. And I love this one. This one is really, really good. Even though it's like very translucent and it's not really popping up very well on my arm. I love it because... That's what it looks like. It's sheer, but it's like that perfect sheer. Like whenever I don't, and I this like I, I haven't had this one for that long, but whenever I want some color, but I don't want anything too too like too much or too out there, I pack this one because this one literally is just gonna give you that nice. And I can't believe I'm about to say this, but this nice juicy <laughs> look. I oh. Uh, 
I, when people say that, I'm like, what? But I can't believe I said that for this one because this one truly is just that. It gives you that look. It gives you that vibe. It gives you enough color so that you don't look completely like, not dead, but like, so you don't look completely dull, but like, you're also not like, hey, yeah, I'm just gonna put this lipstick on. Like, no, it is a really pretty color. And then last but not least, it's from Kat Von D. It is the Lovecraft one. I don't know if this is a lipstick. I mean, obviously it's lipstick, but what I mean is like, I don't know if it's like a matte one or, or what. And I am simply just going to do it on the top of this hand. And I love, love this color. This is another one of those like pinky nudes that is perfection. That is what that looks like. Yes, we are at the end of this. I am sure that if I search, I'm going to find lip products somewhere that I missed, but this is like everything that I currently have open that I have swatched and uh, yeah. Yeah, this was fun and it's getting everywhere. So I'm going to end this video. Thank you guys so much for sticking by me for this long video. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.